All right, so for this video, we're going to talk about a really handy feature that you should use in every single Alpine JS application. Uh, in fact, I felt bad not including it earlier, but uh, I wanted to wait for the right time to show it. So I have a very simple Alpine application here. In fact, you see I'm using the inline code in my div tag for xdata. And I have a div that will show when name equals Raymond and another one if the age is over uh, 40. Uh, now notice, um, I also have above and below, notice that these are in template tags and that this is a div. So let me show you real quick what happens if we are on a very slow network. Uh, I'm using dev tools to emulate that. I'm gonna reload and you'll see as it loads, hi Ray, it showed up. And then when uh, things finally load, high ray goes away because again, the value wasn't true and the template shows up. So what happened? Let's go back over here. So because Alpine was itself was slow to load, this div rendered. It wasn't hidden until Alpine had a chance to show up. Now the templates, they are automatically not visible in the DOM, so they were fine, but this was not fine. Luckily, there's a really simple way to fix this. We add a X cloak directive to our top level div or whatever is holding our application. And in CSS, we add X cloak and then we essentially hide it. Alpine will automatically remove X cloak when it's loaded. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go back and we will reload. And now we should see nothing. All right, we should see nothing. And when it finally gets here, the proper template will show up. So again, I recommend this for every single application out there. There's just never a reason to not use it. Um, and certainly, even when I have no throttling, uh, it doesn't hurt to have it. Uh, let's reload this again. And it just works fine. So one thing to keep in mind is that while that will help with Alpine loading, if you have different data, like you're doing a network request, a, a fetch, you still need to handle that yourself. Let me show you an example of that. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, this is a uh, application making use of the history API, this day in history. And I am going to reload this and we will see eventually, there you go, content is loading. So that's, not, that's my own little loading screen there. And then when my network call is done, it will render. So that was an Xload. That was me actually building in logic and it wasn't too hard. Let me give you some space. Obviously, I still include Xcloak. I just did a little template where if a loading value was true, I show a loading text. And if it's false, then I show my data. In my Alpine application, I set loading to true because when it loads, you know, when the application loads, it's true, it needs to load. And then in my init, when I'm done, I set loading back to false. So again, you know, X cloak by itself may not be enough. You may have to do a combination of things. Uh, but again, Alpine makes it super easy.